In front of us is Tusano Shellback Diver Watch. In so many ways, this watch is one of the best micro brand watches that I've seen under $1,000. However, no watch is perfect and there are some negatives. We're gonna get into all the positives and negatives in a minute, but first, let's start as always by looking at the dimensions and the specs of the watch. It has a 40 millimeter case diameter. It's 47 millimeters from one lug to another. It has a 20 millimeter lug opening and it's only 12 millimeters thick, including the domed sapphire crystal. Yes, the crystal is made out of sapphire. The case and the bracelet are both made out of stainless steel. It has a ceramic bezel insert, 200 meters of water resistance. It's powered by Ronda Meccano caliber R150 automatic movement and it has a price of 650 US dollars. 650 dollars is sort of a unique price point because it's not overly expensive, it's not a thousand dollars plus, but it's also not exactly cheap. It's not really competing with these two, three, four hundred dollar diver watches. It has a category of its own. And to be honest, there aren't too many watches in this price category that come close to the specs and the quality that is offered by Tusano here. First of all, the design. To be honest with you, at first when I saw this watch on pictures and videos, I wasn't a big fan of it. I don't know what it was about the watch. Maybe it's not a very photogenic watch. It just didn't really appeal to me. However, after holding it in my hand, after spending a few weeks with it, I can confidently say the design really does work for me. What they have done here, they created something unique in the C, pun intended, of diver watches. It's very difficult to create a unique diver watch. We've seen it all. However, I think Tusano here did something special. First of all, the finishes are great. They're exactly what you expect for $650. They're probably what you would expect for a watch in a $1,000 price category. I think the brushing is done so well. I love the chamfered edges on these lugs, the way the bracelet fits into the case. There's no discrepancy between the finishes on the bracelet and on the case. Everything is executed really well. We see a screw down crown at the three o'clock position. Yes, it's a screw down crown helping with the 200 meters of water resistance. The crown is on a bigger side. There are no crown guards. The way it's executed in the watch sort of reminds me of Tudor Black Bay models. Even the crown shape is similar, easy to operate as it's a pretty large crown, giving enough surface area for Tucano logo to be featured on the crown. Ronda Caliber R150 is an interesting choice of a movement. We don't see this movement featured in too many watches. Usually it would be a Celita or an ETA, although this Ronda is pretty much a clone of an ETA 2824. It has the same 25 joules. It beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour and it has a 40 hour power reserve. So it's the same movement as the ETA, which is a very good choice for a watch in this price category, but it's a little bit unique because it's not ETA, it is a Ronda movement. One of the design elements, one of the materials that is usually saved up for higher end watches are ceramic bezel inserts. They're just a little bit more expensive to do, they're harder to execute, and usually companies save up these design elements for watches over a thousand, two thousand dollars because they have to sell these more expensive watches somehow, right? They have to have something that they have that cheaper watches don't have. Unfortunately, it's not all positives with this bezel. I wish it was, but as you can see, the bezel is misaligned. It is especially noticeable at the 12 o'clock position as well as at the three o'clock position. The chapter ring looks good. The overall dial looks good, but the bezel itself is misaligned. I think it's even misprinted. Unfortunately, in this price category, some corners had to be cut, I guess, and the quality control issue on the bezel insert itself wasn't as good as it could be. I hope that future versions of this watch fix this issue. In the daily wear, it's not as obvious, but when you look at it up close on video, it makes it very obvious that the bezel is misaligned. The 120 click unidirectional bezel action is nice and smooth, easy to grip. It has this coin edge grip all around it and the blue color on the bezel and on the dial are very attractive. The watch is also available in the black color. I personally would go for the blue one because in certain lighting conditions, it does give off a more darker look. So you can have this watch as sort of a chameleon 
in darker conditions have it almost looking like a black bezel black dial watch and in the lighter conditions have it looking like a blue bezel blue dial watch speaking of the dial this dial is pretty awesome as you can tell it's a sandwich dial which was this unique element this unique design element that i was talking about earlier you don't see too many sandwich dials on diver watches and to be honest again early on when i just saw the pictures of this watch i wasn't a big fan of it i thought it looked like a little bit too much like they tried to throw everything at the wall and to see what sticks but having it in my hand i think pictures don't do this watch justice that looks really sharp i'm a big fan of this sandwich dial i also like the outer ring that closed rail track for the seconds keeping a few little design elements few attention to details that i personally appreciate like for example the seconds hand reaches all the way out to the rail track and it's the same situation with the minutes hand the minutes hand is long enough to reach out to the outer edges of the dial these type of design elements I really appreciate because one of my personal pet peeves are minutes and seconds hands that are too short. They just make your life unnecessarily more difficult. The hours hand also has this interesting design feature where it has sort of this circle that is open in the center. It kind of fits the whole motif of the dial, right? You have the cutouts for the sandwich dial, so why not have a cutout for the hours hand? Simple writing. To Sano logo at the top and then shell back written closer to the six o'clock position also at the six o'clock position we do have a date window now this watch is available with the date and no date surprisingly i prefer the date over the no date usually it's the other way around but i think here it's integrated pretty well into the dial where it doesn't really clash with anything on the dial so the date is welcomed addition and all the way there at the bottom it says swiss made there is plenty of loom on this watch as i mentioned the bezel is loomed the outer chapter ring is loomed the indexes are loomed the hands are loomed even the date window is loomed just look at this loom it's one of the best looms i've seen in a watch in a very long time it's kind of competing with the zelos and the seikos for the loom king crown looking back at the case back of the watch it's a solid case back screwed down with a tusano logo at the back Nothing really to brag about, but nothing really in terms of being a negative. It's a nice, good looking case back. Now, moving on to the bracelet. Here are the elements that I love and also dislike about this watch. First, let's talk about the things that I do like. I like that the first link is this hinged link, or in other words, a female link. It makes the watch much more comfortable, especially for guys with smaller wrists. It kind of hugs your wrist really well. There are no weird protrusions and weird angles. I like how the bracelet plays with the light because of the flat surface areas and the chamfered edges. As you turn your wrist in light, it really looks cool and interesting. Now, the thing that I don't like about the bracelet is this clasp. I mean, it's nothing really wrong with the clasp. It works. It has that scissored engineered mechanism. It has a diver's extension, three micro adjustments. But in my opinion, the clasp just doesn't fit the overall style of the watch. It's a little bit too massive, a little bit too clunky. And we've seen these clasps in watches from four years ago. Uh, I feel like nowadays there are much better versions of this available much more user friendly and those new clasp designs would fit this watch much better i hope that future versions of this watch will include a slightly better more improved clasp other than the clasp everything else on the bracelet is nice and solid it feels good even has a quick removal mechanism on the bracelet for a quick swap from the bracelet to a rubber strap by the way, Tusano did include their Tropic rubber strap for the review. As you can see here, it fits really well on a watch. I prefer the watch on the bracelet, but for those of you who do prefer a Tropic rubber, well, hey, that option is available. Here's the watch on my seven and a half inches wrist. Overall, the fit is very nice and comfortable. It's a familiar fit. 40 millimeter case diameter, 47 millimeters lug to lug distance. We've seen plenty of divers in this size, and that's for a good reason. They're comfortable watches to wear for majority of wrists. If you have a smaller wrist, I think you can still wear this watch, no problem, thanks to those first 
female links that are hinged right at the top there. There are no weird pressure points, no awkward angles. The only complaint I have with the fit really is this bulky clasp. When you put your wrist on a desk as you're typing, you can feel this clasp getting in a way. A smaller, slimmer clasp would definitely be a welcomed addition. Overall, I think Tucsano did a great job with this watch. It feels like a more expensive watch to me. It feels like a watch around a thousand dollars. Yes, the clasp could be better, but other than that, I think they nailed it. I'm excited to see what else comes from Tucsano watches in the future. And of course, if they decide to send me those watches for the review, I will feature them for you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss those videos in the future. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this to sign a watch. Uh, by the way, I want to mention, uh, I forgot to mention earlier, this watch was provided to us for free for the review and we get to keep it. That didn't affect the review in any way, just thought you should know. All right, with all that being said, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.